नमोत भगवत अर्हतो सुदस नमोत भगवत अर्हतो सुदस नमोत भगवत अर्हतो सुदस बुद्धं दम्मं संगं नमस्ता हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द नद एपिसोड ऑफ फ्रेन रिट्रीट दमटोक सीजन दमटोक सीरीज इन दिस वास्ट सीजन वी ट्राइन टू एंकरेज यू टू प्रैक्टिस माइंडफुलनेस टू मेक यू हैप्पी and last couple of times i was trying to give you some guidance according to that matter and uh, i hope you enjoy it and as usual i want to say something about myself too english isn't my first language and uh, i don't know if the is it the, the second or not and uh, i did not had any chance to learn english but as a habit i usually reading and listening so that's how i learn english and uh, after i became a monk i usually start uh, doing some routine like uh, i make new habits one new habit at least at least per year last year i was trying to draw and uh, that's how sativeki or tranquil contemplations are born and uh, yeah after couple of times i i felt very happy because uh, from the very beginning i wasn't uh, good but later on yeah i, I catch up a little bit and uh, this year i thought maybe i should try to talk in english that's how the mo talk in english from bolan kan tapo varana is born so i'm sorry if i make any mistakes while i talking but i have no any 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 thoughts or any intention any intention intention to make you uncomfortable but i think you can understand what i am saying and if i make any mistakes please forgive me it is was season i try to encourage you to be more happy in some some certain ways perhaps you never seen before today also i wanted to give you some good advice according to that topic and uh, i'm going to start it this in this way my friends we are living in this world how to be born we know when we born but we don't know when we when it going to end right so i don't want to talk about negativity from the beginning of the talk but that is the reality so 
when we living in this world as a normal person we always have to face the many many experiences throughout the day sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad sometimes it's very difficult sometimes it's more difficult when we facing the difficulties in our life most of the time we think why why it's for me why is it happening to me or oh, those kind of phrases are very familiar for us right but you know we think the problem is outside what us what make us more unhappy or more troubles but if we think about it we make troubles and problems in our head in our mind in a day more than we have to face in outside the world more than we facing outside the world but in normal life people usually don't know about this kind of matters they usually think the problem is outside not in my side or it's not me but after we start practicing mindfulness we can stay with ourselves when we talk we will be stay with our thought words when we doing when we works i could say we will stay with our works maybe like uh, how i am doing or what i am doing we will understand why we are doing so when practicing mindfulness after we gain these kind of insight we will understand very important things which is sometimes we create happiness sometimes we create unhappiness too if you see deeper enough on this matter you will notice very very hard truth about ourselves we are making or we are creating more problems in our mind more than we have to face in our normal life but we don't know this kind of things before we practice mindfulness but after as a normal person we usually think the outside people or the government maybe politicians maybe weather maybe neighbors those are the people who makes us difficulties or problems but after we 
try to practice mindfulness, we will understand that we are the one who one who make this mess in my life. I am the one who make this mess or this problem in my life. If you think about it, <clears throat> in a day you usually think a lot, right? And uh, if you see your thoughts well, you will notice that you make many, many unhappiness thoughts throughout the day. And you creating more problems in your head or in your mind. Sometimes uh, maybe hundreds in a day or in an hour. Surprisingly, we have used some times to talk or the work, but in our mind, in our head, it's only take very couple of few seconds to think about or make these kind of creations and it will take very very milliseconds only 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 milliseconds not so long like we we usually use when we talk or when we do stuffs because of this reason I think my dear we are creating more thoughts in our day more than we talk or more than we t more than we work but unfortunately if we if we like to I could say if we like to create problems in our mind in our head throughout the day we will make more problems more than we talk or more than we words or more than we works do like we do in our normal life because it takes very few seconds very less time that's how we generate our mind to create the environment in our mind like uh, like f like feel that we are unhappy or something like that but after we practicing mindfulness we will notice that our mind is creating these problems not something else or not someone else then we can start to think about or practice <clears throat> something different in our mind to regenerate the good environment for ourselves if you think about it you will notice that you are thinking and if you notice when you notice that you are thinking you only know or only knew that you are thinking but you don't notice or don't know when you not thinking 
you only know you think you think or you create but you don't know when you not think or you don't think I wanted to say that is the very crucial point which Buddha told us because when people think we usually understanding is we think continuously but we, if we but if we see the if we see very closely very closely the thoughts we can notice very specific parts in the thoughts or in the thought process i could say which is it has a start and uh, it has a energetic way i mean it goes up was like that it has a desire to go higher or create more thoughts but sometimes it's heavy it has the thought thought process are getting lower and lower which means uh, the that desire to think about it or desire to create this kind of thought process are getting faded and there is another one too the thoughts are already gone in the satipatthana sutta mindfulness sermon in the buddha's description in buddha's talk he says very specific part in hindrance section which is you should cultivate the mindfulness when you are having it says in pali kama chanda maybe it's similar like craving thoughts or something but when you have this kind of defilements things buddha explain us to understand that you have those kind of worn things and sometimes you you have this the worn things like a fading away or something like that or it is goes away but they explain us you should understand that too and most importantly he told us we should that we should see the thoughts already we had in our mind are already gone most of the time my dear friends we don't do that things that's why we think our thoughts are continuous we don't see the difference or the space between thoughts i think that is the problem that's why anicca dukkha and anatta uncertainty and unhappiness and uh, i don't know how to explain in anatta do a uh, teaching in buddhism so when we practicing mindfulness first of all we will stay with our words and works i mean present moment when we do so we will understand when you talk 
yeah i am talking when you are not talking i am not talking now it is not because of the defilements but it is what should be before we find the mindfulness we will we not will we we usually do things uh, what our desire wants if i dis- if if our desire wants to get angry yeah we get angry and if uh, if we, our desire wants to get jealousy or something yeah we get jealousy but later on after we practice in mindfulness practice mindfulness we will understand if we create this kind of defilement in our life or if we spread those things to the world we will stop to those process because we don't want to harm ourselves but in generally people wants to make this kind of changing outside the world first but not inside to my point that is the problem because in our day we usually creating many many problems in our mind more than we do in normal life and we want to to create the safe environment in outside the world not inside ourselves that's why most of the people not happy with themselves that's why most of the people don't like to do practicing don't like to practice mindfulness especially mindfulness because mindfulness take us back to us when we see ourselves inside most of the time we will see that we are not the good like we think we are but that doesn't mean we can't change it we can and we will if you are practicing mindfulness hard enough so what i want to encourage you all to understand that we are creating more thoughts according to the matters to make problems and difficulties maybe lonely now so etc etc those kind of energy we will see the world through those kind of energy that's how i think we create the problems in normal life too because it's always mind mano babanga madhama mind is the creator we believe that outside person or maybe god are creating us or changing us or controlling us but it is us it is you creating you controlling you actually it's not you it's your desire and how it generate it is generating while you thinking in a day think about it look at it in a day how many thoughts you you are thinking usually to make unhappiness inside your head to make troubles in your head if you compare or count how many times you make troubles and problems in your head and how many problems you you see in normal life in a day what do you think how many percentage i bet it will be very high amount or 
high count will be you will make you are making more troubles in your head more than you facing troubles in normal life in normal life that's how it works so that's why we need, we want to practice mindfulness in our day not only while we are talking or working but also when we are thinking also because we have to stay with our thoughts we have to take rest with our thoughts too if we try, if we understand ourselves a lot we will notice so we can understand that we make unhappiness environment in our mind more than in our normal life so then we can learn how to be create good environment to ourselves in our mind and to be happy how you do it when you practicing mindfulness you can do it thanks for the listening see you next time